Hi everyone, this is Peyton Hatch. Uh, today's video is uh, just a, a basic ASCII import into Leica Infinity. And what I've done is I've, I've created a Infinity project. It's a blank project. I've got a coordinate system attached that I happen to know what these points do fall under. It could be a state plane, UTM, or um, a local site calibration. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to import and the one thing you'll realize you have to do oh, so I'm gonna go down here I'm gonna select ASCII data so now it's looking for ASCII data and I'm gonna import this one right here now if you've never imported ASCII data in the past your template up on the top right will be it'll just be blank it'll be blocked out and so for today, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one, just to demonstrate new one. Uh, just notice that I already have a PNEZD right here. So you'll see what happens if I hit new. So new template, and I'm going to call it PNEZD up here at the top. You notice down here at the right, my OK button still grayed out. It, it's because I already have a PNEZD, so I can't save this. Uh, that's the only indicator you're going to have. Um, so I would have to call that like PNEZD number one. And uh, well, I'll leave it alone first because my template's not correct yet. Um, let's go column separator. I want this to be a comma delimited. Now I have my tabs across the top. I'm going to import these as well as the control points for now. They're going to go into the coordinate system. You see here's all the options you can do. You can also bring in latitude and longitudes. And so my first row is the point ID, then we have the northing, the easting, the ortho height, and I have the code. So it reads those directly. Now this template is correct, but you'll notice my OK button is still, I can't press it. Let's make a quick change right here. Oop. Now you'll notice I can press OK. And that's because I already had one. Uh, it doesn't give you any indicator other than that. Um, I'm going to talk to the Infinity team and see if they can you know, bold that out in red saying this already exists, but it's uh, not there yet. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to go call PNEZD number one. So there's going to be my template. You're getting a nice little uh, preview as far as what's going to come in. And I will press OK. Now my template is saved. I've selected my file and I press import. My data just populated. Uh, one of the things you can happen is you might accidentally reverse the import order and import easting northing versus northing easting. So I will always check my inspector tab, go to my all points. As soon as my computer catches up, I'll go here to all points. There it is. And I will notice that my northings and my eastings are in the correct location. Because they were imported as control points, there is no 3DCQ values or anything like that. No geoid separation. Oh, there is a geoid separation because I have a coordinate system that will backwards calculate the lat, long, and ellipsoidal height. So that's how all this information does come in. Let's just make sure it landed in the right place by bringing in a map. And it did. I happen to know this is the correct location for this project. And so that's how easy it is to bring in an ASCII file. Say, so just make sure you do have the northings and eastings correct. If you do happen to have an easting northing, just you can always make sure you hit this pencil button. You can edit stuff and just make sure you have a set easting northing versus northing easting. That's how you got your file. So essentially XYZ versus um, northing easting, YXZ. That's, uh, that's pretty the gist of this video, guys. Um, pretty simple. And please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.